Elisha could see what many others could not. There is a realm that exists beyond this one, a dimension that is invisible to our bare eyes. This is the realm of the invisible, and the prophet Elisha illuminates us on the workings of this world. Ancient Iraq, which is now known as Syria, was at war with Israel at the time, and the king of ancient Aram was troubled by the fact that a prophet was able to predict where Aram's army was planning to go, warning Israel's king so that he could devise Israel's army's strategy. The prophet was located in the city of Dothan, and the king of Aram made the decision to send a large group of soldiers there to capture him so that he wouldn't be able to help Israel win the war. In the ancient Near East, messages from the prophets were frequently sought after in relation to military campaigns. Elisha did not support the corrupt monarchs of Israel, but he knew that it was even worse for Israel to be conquered and subjugated under Syria. Therefore, he gave the king of Israel information from divinely inspired espionage. The man they sought to capture was Elisha, Elisha, whose name means God is salvation, was the successor of Elijah in the office of the prophet in Israel. Elisha seemed to love Elijah like he would a father. He refused to leave Elijah before Elijah was taken into heaven. Elisha requested a double portion of Elijah's spirit. So he sent horses and chariots and a powerful army there. They came by night and surrounded the city. The servant of the man of God got up early and went out. And behold, there was an army with horses and chariots encircling the city. Elisha's servant said to him, Oh no, my master, what are we to do? Elisha answered, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Then Elisha prayed and said, Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire surrounding Elisha. 2 Kings 6, 14-17, Amplified Bible. The fear that overcame the servant was understandable, given the circumstances. At that point, he could see nothing but the earthly army that had gathered to capture Elisha. He was well aware that running away or surviving an assault by that many people was an extremely remote possibility. Elisha says, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. This seemed unbelievable to Elisha's servant Gehazi. He saw the horses, the chariots, and the great army surrounding them. He could not see anyone who was with Elisha and him. We also note that Elisha provided the servant with a rationale for why he should not be afraid. This was not wishful thinking or a hopeless situation. Rather, there was a real reason for confidence even though the servant could not see it. Elisha did not pray to God to alter anything about the circumstance that they were in. His only request was that his servant could see the reality of the situation. Yet, Elisha also did not try to persuade the servant of the reality of those with us. The servant could not have this explained to him, nor could he be persuaded into it. He had to see it. The previous lack of perception on the part of Elisha's servant did not make the reality of the spiritual army any less real. If there are 50 people who do not see something, it doesn't invalidate the perception of one who does see. Faith is never the imagining of unreal things. It is the grip of things which cannot be demonstrated to the senses, but which are real. The chariots of horses and fire were actually there. Morgan
The invisible army of Gott had literally more firepower than the horses and chariots of the Syrians. The spiritual army had chariots of fire all around Elisha. Gehazi, Elisha's servant, is encountered in three incidents with Elisha. Therefore, he must have spent quite a bit of time with Elisha. However, this did not mean he was as spiritually mature as Elisha. Just because people are in near proximity does not mean that they are in the same spiritual class. Once our blindness is removed, we too can see the power of God at work protecting his people. One cannot help but recall how Elisha had seen similar chariots of fire when Elijah was taken to heaven. 2 Kings 6 18 Amplified Bible When the Aramaeans came down to him, Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, Please strike this people, nation, with blindness. And God struck them with blindness in accordance with Elisha's request. Strike this people, I pray, with blindness. This exact word for blindness takes place in the Sodom story. Genesis 19, 10-11, Amplified Bible. But the men, angels, reached out with their hands and pulled Lot into the house with them and shut the door after him. They struck, punished the men who were at the doorway of the house with blindness, from the young men to the old men, so that they exhausted themselves trying to find the doorway. The Syrian soldiers could not see the spiritual army, so when they came up to Elisha, they did not hesitate to approach him. However, in the same manner that he had prayed that God would give sight to his servant, he then prayed that God would strike this people with blindness. God heard and answered this prayer, just as he previously answered the prayer to give perception to the servant. This shows us that God may grant sight or send blindness according to his wisdom and in response to the prayers of his people. Elisha himself leads the confused troops off to Samaria. Elisha then prays for their eyes to be opened in the same words he has used to pray for the servant's special sight. But what they see is not so reassuring. They are in Israel's capital, where Israelite troops presumably outnumber them. The king of Israel recognized Elisha's authority to be above his own. Elisha forbade the slaughter of the enemy's troops. Why? The reason is left unclear, except that different rules of war seem to have applied in this situation. Instead, the enemy was to be entertained with a royal feast and sent back to their king. Their discomfiture was enough to end the raids on Israel. God's enemies receive surprising kindness and mercy as the goodness of God seeks the repentance of the pagan nation. Angels are powerful ministering spirits. However, certain things may hinder their ministry in our lives. Spiritual blindness. Whenever it comes to the issues of God, you are required to believe it before you can experience it. Whatever is written in the Word must be seen before it can be possessed. Angels, who are also referred to as the host of heaven, are all around us. Elisha's servant was also initially ignorant of the fact, and Job never realized it. Don't let the devil confuse you about the presence of angels. Just as the demonic world is invisible, the angelic world is also invisible. What you cannot see, you cannot utilize. What you cannot see, you cannot make use of.